guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. So, today we're going to be talking about some new leaks from the set. This is all coming from Canada Graphs. A lot to talk about. We've got two major returning characters. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, all coming from Canada Graphs. This is via his Patreon. You can subscribe to it to get access to these photos early. That will be in the link at the top of the description below. Okay, so yeah, we got some big news. And he actually teased about this the other day. And we knew that one of the stars was back in town in Vancouver specifically. But we weren't sure if he was returning for The Flash. Speculation was that he was going to return for The Flash. However, you know, he could have been there for any show. But it turns out... This returning star is David Dismaltian. I think that's how you say his name. I always get it wrong. I've actually met the guy in real life. I was just at a film festival in Glasgow walking around and I was like, oh, that's David. Like, he's in The Dark Knight and he's also in The Flash. He is Abracadabra. Oh, hi there. Yeah, so that was a weird story. Like, I literally bumped into him in Scotland of all places. So, yeah. I love him, I thought he was really good as Abracadabra in season 3 of The Flash, that was the only time he showed up, he showed up for one episode, he was the target of Gypsy, Gypsy was trying to collect her bounty by taking him in, and so Abracadabra only appeared for one episode, he was very cool, I really like season 3, I think season 3 is very good, and yeah, so I'm very happy to see that he's returning, I was kind of expecting some people to return. I wasn't expecting him, but at the same time, I kind of had a feeling he would return at some point, so it's not completely out of the blue, I don't think. However, it was not to be expected. No one's been really speculating in the last, you know, few years or something like that, or definitely this year, that Abracadabra will come back. So, this is interesting for multiple reasons. I think one of the most important reasons is... The last piece of filming we saw out on the street was to do with Eva, and it was kind of like the final battle for her. So is this the episode after Eva is defeated and we move on to the new story? Kind of feels like it. Maybe we have him for like one or two episodes. The reason why I say two episodes, maybe, where normally it would only be one episode, like a guest star appearance, is because he had to quarantine for two weeks in Vancouver. And I'm pretty sure they would have made some sort of deal in that, oh, you can stay for two weeks and then you can film, but you can film like two episodes rather than filming like less than a week or something, you know, for one episode and you're not in the whole episode like Grant Gustin who would have to film for, you know, two weeks and more because he is the main star of the show for each episode. So, yeah, very interesting to see these back. Maybe they've made some sort of deal. I don't know if he's going to stay for more than one episode, but I presume he'll be in at least two episodes and this will be post Eva McCulloch. So will this be episode 4 or 5? That remains to be seen. Seems like maybe Eva will be defeated at the end of episode 3. And then maybe this is episode 4. And this is the first new threat that Barry faces. However, there is someone else here. And I find this very interesting. Because I don't know if it's some sort of team up or something. But we're going to get into that in a minute. But you see the photo right here from Canada Graphs. This is David, and he is suited up, obviously he looks a bit different, obviously it's a few years later, and he has the white hair and everything, so, you know, he's looking like Abracadabra, and he's got a suit on as well, and yeah, so he's out in public and he's fighting the Flash. So we move on to the next photo, we got Barry, and Barry's being smashed into a car, I don't know if Grant's specifically being flung right here, however you can see the car behind him has a huge dent in it, and so there is some sort of fight going on, we know that. And so it seems like they are actually facing off against each other. But there is also someone else here. And like I said, we'll get to that in just a minute. But I think this is a cool photo. Really like it. It's a good look at Barry. Good look at Grant in the flash suit. And yeah, so let's move on to the next photo. And this next photo is strange. Because what the heck is this thing? This random kind of tall person in like a suit with some sort of weird kind of top hat on. Yeah, so if you guys didn't know, this is kind of what they do for, you know, like Grodd and Savitar. And in this case, it looks like this is going to be blood work because it's very similar to what they had last season when they had the monster version of blood work in the street. 
However, when I first saw this, I was like, wait, is Savitar back or something? Because, you know, when we've seen stuff like this on the street, like I mentioned, you know, we think Grodd, Savitar, and, you know, more recently we think Bloodwork. And so at first I saw this and I was like, Savitar back? Like, why is this kind of guy walking around like this? Because, number one, he looks ridiculous, of course. And it's just a stand-in for the rough size of whoever they're going to CG and animate over this sort of person in this ridiculous suit. So yeah, my initial thoughts was, oh, Savitar, but then I was like, but wait, this kind of looks familiar with that kind of top hat thing. So I'm pretty damn sure this is blood work. And so last season we saw blood work. He returned later in the season and he could have broke out of Argus, but he didn't kind of seemed like they set up a return for him so again in the case of this not very surprising I think it's less surprising however it's interesting to see that he is in this monster form during this episode and also you have to take into account what is going to happen for the rest of the season who is going to be the main villain it certainly isn't going to be blood work certainly isn't going to be abracadabra yes they may be around for a couple of episodes but they're not going to be the main villains. Godspeed has been teased as the main villain by Eric Wallace. Is that going to happen at this point? Are these just, you know, new minions of Godspeed, essentially? Is that why they are back? And that's why Bloodworks broken out of Argus and everything like that. And that's why Abracadabra has returned. I'm not sure. However, I am curious to see if it does link into Godspeed, because that was an initial thought and theory of mine that maybe with these guys here, that, you know, they could be kind of like cronies or lessers that are fighting for Godspeed. At the same time, contrasting to that, I don't think Bloodwork would willingly work for someone else. He seems like someone who's just, you know, fully into himself and even like under some sort of control, he wouldn't do that. So is this a team up between Bloodwork and Abracadabra? I mean, it certainly looks like it, like they're beating the hell out of Barry, throwing him against cars and everything. And in this photo, you can see the tall kind of CG replacement guy is there, who would be blood work. And then you got Grant in the background, obviously getting his makeup done in this photo, but they are there facing off against each other. So I'm very curious to see all of this. Of course, a lot of theory is going to come out of this because you got two major returning characters from the past. Obviously, the blood work, not so distant past. However, for Abracadabra, it's quite a distant past. Season three. That was a while ago, and I'm very excited for one to get someone back from season three because I really like season three. I dug Abracadabra, and I really like David. Obviously, I met him in real life. I love his films. He's great in The Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rises, Batman Begins, and everything. And then also, of course, Ant Man recently, and he's in the new June film, and also he's going to be in the new Suicide Squad film. So he's doing a lot in terms of comic books and films and I think he's always wanted to return to the Flash so I'm very excited that he found the time to come out to Vancouver quarantine for two weeks to show up for this so what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments down below and so the final thing is in the case that they aren't working for Godspeed and they are just there by themselves when the hell is Godspeed gonna come in and be the main villain that he has been teased to be so will we go on Till like you know nearly the first half of the season also considering this season is 18 episodes it is less even than last season so they don't have much to go through I would say they're about up to episode 4 or 5 right here and then adding on from that you know they got like 13 14 episodes left of the whole season so will Godspeed be in the back half will he be actually you know in the first bit with these other characters as his sort of lackeys or his cronies working for him you know as sort of minions i guess is the better word like we saw you know last season with all the different godspeed clones is blood work working for him is abracadabra but if not when the hell is godspeed going to show up i would say it's probably likely godspeed is going to show up sometime around the mid-season finale whenever they are planning that to be I guess that will be around episode 8 or so, maybe 9. We'll have to wait and see because it's a much shorter season, obviously. I think like 2 to 3 to 4 episodes is still a big drop from normal. And obviously 19 was short for it, and now we're at 18. So, what do you guys think about all of this? Are you excited for this episode? I'm very excited to see what is going on. Also, especially because this is kind of 
post our last season story seems like Eva is gone by this point so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see red.